Hello everyone, this is Glory Talk, welcome. This is um, April 22nd, 2023, welcome. I've already made one video today, so this is the second one. I'm feeling led to do this. Uh, please like, subscribe, follow, and share all videos, words, and posts, and get them out there for God. It lets me keep doing this too, and we get God out to everyone, because what? Everyone is everyone. God tells me, get it out to everyone. So, yes, please do that. It really does bless me. It really does bless God, too. You know, when we're doing His, when we're actually doing what He's telling us to do, He shows up, and He brings, oh, how do you say it, Holy Spirit? He brings clarity, he brings excitement, and he brings peace, and he brings joy, all the wonderful things about him. He brings it, and it comes through to each situation that you're in. And, um, okay, so the Holy Spirit said, yeah, share that with them. So I want you guys to know that. That's what the Holy Spirit wants you to know. Be encouraged, by the way. Be encouraged to keep getting Christ out there to everyone. Talk him up. Speak him up. Tell everyone what he can do for them. So if you don't know, get in the word, you know. That's what you can find out what he can do for them. And it's really worth it to share your life and what God's actually done for you. Because when you do that, it... It just goes out there and, and lifts God up, you know? And when you do that, he lifts you up. And when you speak truth and you speak God's righteousness and truth in his word, guess what happens? It pierces the darkness. And look that up in the word. It pierces the darkness. It goes through all the darkness. And it, God's word is a double-edged sword. Look that up in the word too. Um, I'm going to encourage you to do that. Encourage you to look those up. Google it or Brave it or whatever search engine you got and Google it up. I usually put Bible and then I put that, whatever that description is or whatever it is I'm looking for right after that. And then it usually tells you. Um, I've been using Brave a lot because the uh, search engine seems to give you more freedom and no restrictions mm. I'm just saying uh, that helps me a lot by the way and so I wanted to encourage you guys you know to if you're not getting results like you want go get them somewhere else so go do it somewhere else and look for, for it through a different way I mean we know that some things are being controlled and limited and so sometimes you need to find a better way to look things up and to just be able to find it you know and so i'm encouraging guys to to do that it's okay you know to use the same thing that you're using all the time but if God's showing you, like, hey, I want you to change and do that this way, you should do it that way. Yeah. And that's what he led me to do, and I get better results. I'm just saying, I get better results. Amen. So here we go. Let's let's be led by the Holy Spirit. Um, and I heard pray, so let's go ahead and pray and see what he wants to talk about. Amen. Oh, yeah, and by the way, I know I said please like, subscribe, and follow, and share. Gets God out there and everyone. And it does really do, it does really get God out there to everyone. But, um, and please share it. And, but you can also give to this ministry. And it is a mission that God gave me. And he says, please tell them. Okay, so I'm telling them, Lord. He says, how do you expect them to give? And I said, okay, so I need to let you know that um, you can give to me at paypal.me slash glory talk paypal.me slash glory talk and um you'll see a picture of me there i also have a description 
on the about section in my YouTube channel and under each video I'm starting to put it under each video. That way you can find the information and then I also have a tile and a post pinned on Facebook under Glory Talk and um, that's where you can find that information too. Amen. Yeah, and I'm on Facebook and Glory Talk under you and no, I'm under Facebook and YouTube under Glory Talk. Amen. So let's pray. Father God, Holy Spirit, and Jesus Christ, thank you for you just being you. You just being the old, the ultimate, the ultimate God that does everything, that knows everything, and, and, and is in control of everything. And we know that you're coming through. We know that you're going to change this whole world and mess that we're in. And we know that you're going to put us in a new kingdom era and reign. I ask that we gracefully get through it. Lord, I ask that we gracefully show you to everyone and we live you through us <laughs> until we get there because we really need the grace, Lord. We really need the grace. And, um, and I believe it too. And so I, Lord, Lord, I ask that we all believe it and we're going to get there and we're going to make it through the transition into the last kingdom era and reign. In Jesus' name. There, there's an example of prayer. God keeps telling me to give a good, you know, tell, let everybody know, hey, this is an example of how you can do it. And, you know, can do, you can just converse with him too. And remember, um, if you didn't know it, we are going into a new kingdom age and reign. And it's in the Bible. Look it up, the new kingdom, which is the divine kingdom. And um, remember, the divine kingdom's in Daniel 2, 44. That's where you can find that. It's described there. Uh, and it's, a de it's, it's like it mentions it there. And uh, this is the kingdom that we're walking into that what? Never ends. That we're going to see the fulfillment of everything. We're going to see the fulfillment of everything to the very end. Isn't that great? He says, talk about it. Thank you, Holy Spirit. He says, talk about it. Okay, so what he's shown me already, and what he's told me in Isaiah 60 and 61, that we are going to come into that, that time and place. And in Isaiah 60 and 61, it talks about it talks about this kingdom that's just amazing and how we're going to shine for God. We're going to have, we're, our faces are going to shine for him. We're going to look younger. We're going to feel younger. We're going to be uh, in a divine kingdom. So when a divine kingdom happens, we're going to display him and his glory through us and on us. And... The glory is going to be more than the former glory, just like the word says. We haven't done that yet, and that's what we're walking into. God does tell me we have a little ways to go. We're not in the rapture time yet. We're not at the end time. We are in the end era, but we're not in the very end. That's what God keeps telling me. You can see that in the word. We're actually at the beginning of the transition, and we're actually transitioning now. And God's going to protect his people all the way through and ask for protection. And be confident that he's going to do that for you. But you have to line up with his, you know, with his wisdom and his, and with his, um, his narrative of what he's doing. God's narrative is about saving people and giving people hope and encouragement and um, displaying him to the world. And so... It's not about what you see now around the world, which is death, destruction, and, and what, you know, everything the devil represents. And, um, and they just keep saying it over and over and over. And, you know, that's what the devil wants. He wants everybody to repeat it so they can start believing it. Ah, because, you know, what comes out of your mouth, you end up doing that. You end up saying it, and you end up believing it, and then it becomes part of your world. And believe me, 
It is that way. God keeps telling me our words are very powerful. Look it up in the word. Our words are very powerful. We speak things into existence. That's also in the word. We also have, we either speak blessings, not curses. So look that up in the word too. Our ver words are very powerful. Be careful. And right now, because of the accelerated time we're in, it happens very, very soon when you speak things. I've noticed it. <laughs> I'm just saying, I've noticed it. I speak blessings over people, and the more I speak blessings over people, I'm seeing it. You speak against the darkness, and you're starting to see it. I'm starting to see it when I speak darkness away from these people that are, that are around me and that I'm praying for, and for loved ones and friends. I see it removed. Um, it is what it is. God's telling us this is the time and age and era that it's happening. It's very powerful right now. Um, remember, because we're walking into the divine kingdom, that's going to happen immediately, you know, in the divine kingdom. The divine kingdom is is set up to be divine, is set up to be like heaven. And just like it says in the in the Lord's Supper, I mean the Lord's Prayer, it says, on earth as it is in heaven. Look it up. It's going to be amazing. We're going to see like, it's going to represent heaven down here, by the way. We're going to, you know, like heaven on earth. And um, it's going to be amazing. Oh, praise God. Uh, let's, let's just wait on the Holy Spirit a little bit, see what he wants to talk about. I mean, and sometimes I just talk through it and sometimes it says, hold on, don't say anything. So I'm waiting for the Holy Spirit. Um, he says again, be careful of your words. Be careful of your words. Your words are powerful. Yes, very powerful. I'm waiting just a little bit longer. How do you want to, how do you want to do that, Lord? How do you want to do that, Holy Spirit? <laughs> He's saying, give an example. Okay. Okay, so what do you want in your life? Do you want health, wealth, and prosperity? Or do you want what the devil's MO is and the, his agenda? And the devil's agenda is kill, steal, and destroy. And you can look that up in the word. That's also in the word. It says the devil's agenda is kill, kill, steal, and destroy. And God's agenda is health, wealth, and prosperity. It's just that way. God talks about his love, his mercy, his kindness, his goodness. Um, God talks about his healings. God talks about his, you know, he's, God's got so many attributes and so many characteristics that are wonderful. And the love that he gives out to everyone. Man, talk about the love. Talk about the love. I mean, he's got lots of things in the word about his love. Look those up, by the way. Look up everything about his love. Mm, an example. If you say... And this is like talking a curse over yourself or over somebody. You say, you're never going to get it right then that's what's going to happen. If you say, you don't know what you're doing, that's not very smart, it, it's going to happen. You're speaking that over them. You're speaking a curse over them. And the best thing to do is, is speak words from God over yourself. You know, God says we're redeemed. So you say, I'm redeemed. God says we're saved. I'm saved. You know, you say those things over your life. God says, I pour out so much blessing, you won't even have room for it. Oh, you know, hey, praise God. So you say, God's blessings, he pours out so much blessings on us, we're not going to have room for it. You know, that, that's in his word, by the way. So look that up. Um, given it shall be given unto you. Pressed down, shaken together, running over, shall be poured into your lap. That's in the word too. Speak that over you. See what I mean? You're going to get those blessings back. When I give, it'll come back that way. 
it shall be given to me, pressed down, shaken together, running over, shall be poured into my lap. That's for you too. I speak that over you too. Amen. So speak those things over yourself. What else? Oh yeah, well, God says all were healed, by the way. Uh, I don't know why people don't believe that, but it is right there when the disciples, and this is what started the whole thing for myself, uh, about four, I think we're going on four years now where I really got serious about Christ, you know, really serious about why can't we see these signs, wonders, and miracles that, that are in the Bible? And he says, there's a reason why you don't see them is because nobody's living up the word. There are people that are doing it and they're receiving the signs, wonders, and miracles that follow, but they forgot the power behind the words and the devil has convinced almost everyone that there's no power in the words when actually there is, and we are to believe them. Look that up. So what's going on is that when I came across that and I looked up that and it says, look, Lord, it says all were healed when the disciples and Jesus were going up performing miracles, signs and wonders. It says that all, not one, not two, all. Everybody that wanted healing got it. And even some that didn't even um, know who Christ was, you know, they, they got blessed and got healed too. I remember seeing that. And so, and that's how some of them came to be believers in him. And so, uh, and not only that way, you know, there was believers that believed in him because of the things that he was teaching, pronouncing, and telling everybody about the glory of God and telling everybody about what his um, God was, you know. And when Jesus did that, and then he revealed himself as the Son of God, and um, wow. And you know, signs, wonders, and miracles followed, by the way. And that's, and, and that's what started for me. I kept going there. I go, okay, Lord, I'm believing this. Signs, wonders, and miracles that follow. And when you know it, signs and wonders and miracles started following. I totally believed it. I really got into it. I got serious with it. I started following Christ more so than I ever had before, even though I had done it before off and on through my life. And I was really serious at times about my faith in Jesus Christ. And it would come and go and come and go and come and go. But then there was something that happened um, with my faith during this last time because of the time that we're in. I was completely done with what the world was doing and what the world was doing for myself and what I was trying to do in the world. And it, it just didn't work anymore. I had tried just about anything and everything in my life. And it just didn't work. I was trying all these programs and I was trying all these things and I was trying all these supplements and, and it was like, I was just done with it because I didn't get results out of it. And the results weren't even that good. They were like putting a band-aid on it. Ha ha ha. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It was like putting a band-aid on it and uh, it didn't really satisfy everything. It didn't satisfy the deep down thing in your soul that needed that, that needed to know that Christ was alive and well inside of you, that needed to know that Christ actually did perform his miracles, signs, and wonders that followed, that he actually did them through you. You know, I, I've heard that from people say, well, God doesn't do that now. What? That's not true. And that's where I came to me for my own faith. It wasn't true. These people that spoke those kind of things, they don't know what they're talking about. They don't understand the truth behind the word of God. When you really start understanding the truth by the, behind the word of God and it's actual truth and you start believing it, I started seeing miracles. I started seeing things that changed in my lives, in my life, and it was amazing. I started getting healed. Yeah, I started getting healed. I can tell you, I've had numerous healings for the last, oh, I think it's going on four, somewhere around four years. I'll, I'll look it up, but man, 
I can tell you he started reworking my soul. He, 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 he refined my inner workings of myself and my soul. And he just made it brand new and very clear and very, um, um, refined, you know, and he started cleansing me and started doing all these wonderful things in my life. And then all of a sudden I started getting healed. I started getting healed in my physical body and not only, and not only just my body, but my mind also, and my soul was being refined and, and things were starting to be mended and things were starting to be complete and made whole. And it's a, it is like, like it says in the word to be healed, but it was more than just being healed. It was be to made healed, whole and complete. And that's in the word too. look that up because it wasn't just to be healed, even though that was a wonderful, wonderful thing. And I'm getting really emotional right about now. God healed me. And, but he did even more than that. I wanted the whole thing, you know, and I said, Lord, you know, because he, he just, he just took care of everything then. And he started healing me, not just with the healing, but, and he made me healed whole inside, you know, here, here, and your will and complete. And I started feeling complete and it was so wonderful. And it was so, it was so amazing how it happened. And I want to encourage you guys to really go after Christ to do that because he starts working you over. He does. And when you really go after him, and I'm feeling the Holy Spirit right now, I'm feeling God's presence right now. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ, God the Father. Thank you for bringing your presence. And you can acknowledge him. Just acknowledge him when he does that and praise him for it. And um, but when he starts doing that, he... How do you say it, Holy Spirit? Well, wait on him. He works over your soul. You start filling yourself up with that word more and more and more. And you ask for wisdom, understanding, discernment, and clarity. And it starts coming in. And then it starts becoming part of your life. And then it becomes more than just your life. It, become, it, it becomes a new, like it says in the word, you become this new creation in Christ. And that is so cool. Thank you, Lord, for reminding me about that. You become the new creation in Christ with him, with God. And it's a wonderful, wonderful thing. It's so wonderful that it's indescribable how wonderful and peace it is and peaceful and peace that passes all understanding. You know, it is. That's in a word, too. Um, all those things he says about it is so true. It's so true. And it's totally worth it, you guys. It's totally, totally worth it to be in Christ and to have him live inside of you, to live, to just believe in him. And you know, that's what the word says. The word says, you just have to believe. You just have to believe. That's all it is. You just have to believe. And what does he do? He's going to, he's going to take care of everything. Because God sent his son down here, you guys, to die for your sins. And he took the whole sin of the world and sacrificed himself. And it was Jesus Christ who did that. And he is such a wonderful savior and <sighs> prince of peace. He's so wonderful. And when he did that, he wiped everything clean, by, by the way. He wiped everything clean for you. So all you got to do is ask him in and your words are very powerful. Say it with your words. Just ask him into your life and ask him to just cleanse you and, and make you brand new. So we'll do that. Lord, and you say with your words, Lord Jesus, I ask that you cleanse me and make me brand new and forgive me. I am so sorry for sinning. I'm so sorry for not believing you and I want to be I want to be this person for you and with you and I believe in you and there you go say it with your words I believe in you Jesus and what you did on the cross and you died for my sins and you took my sins away and cleansed me and made me brand new and that's all you have to say 
and then say, I believe in you, Jesus. That's how simple it is. I believe in you, and I ask you to come into my life. I ask you to live inside of me so you never depart from me. And just believing in him and knowing he's there in your life, it's that easy. And you are a child of God. That's how easy it is. And that's it. Praise God. There's another one, Lord, and another one, and another one. They're a welcome child of God because when you do that, you're a child of God and you're going, what is it? You're becoming, it's, it's because we existed in heaven before we came down here in life. And now we are born again and look that up in the word. When we ask him into our life, when we ask for forgiveness of sins and repent, we're born again. Look that up in the word. And now you're a child of God. Praise God. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Amen. So this was a great one. Great thing. And you know what you need to do is just tell people that you're tell people that you're a believer in Christ, you know, and get the word out there to everyone. Not everybody's going to receive it, but they are going to most a lot of people are going to receive it. There's a lot of people out there that actually need Jesus. And if you're having trouble with it, just remember that you can say, hey, Lord, who do you want me to talk to? You know, and he'll he'll give you people to talk to about him. And, and that's all it takes. And get yourself in the word and start praying to him and communicating with him because it's very simple to communicate with him. And, um, and don't believe the lies from the devil. He's just lying to you. You can always talk to God anytime you want. You don't even have to pray it all the time. You can just converse. And, and conversing is praying, too, and declaring. You know, it's all a part of his communication line. You know, his, the way you can communicate with him and back. And, um, and learn how much power you have in the word. Learn how much power you have with speaking God's words. Because it's a lie from the devil that's telling you you don't have power. And that's a lie from the devil. You do have power. And your words are very powerful, and God's words are very powerful. So when you want to speak a blessing over yourself, not a curse. So keep speaking those wonderful things about yourself and over everybody else, and no curses over anybody. No bad things over people. In Jesus' name. Hey, that's the way it works. Welcome, child of God. Hey, wow. Keep going there, guys. We're almost done and through this whole transition of what we're going through. And we're going to walk into what? The new kingdom era and reign. And that's what we're walking into. It's a divine kingdom. Look it up in the word. That's where we're going. Praise God. Now I can, the Holy Spirit's saying, now it's, it's time. We can end it. So I'm going to end this video. Um, thanks for everything you've done. Thanks for listening to me, getting God out there and sharing it. And please like, subscribe, follow, and share all the words, videos, and posts that I put out there. Man, it, it just makes a huge difference to get God out there to everyone. And it makes a huge difference for myself. If you want to give, give to Glory Talk. And that is paypal.me slash Glory Talk. And that's where I'm at. You'll see my picture. And um, yeah, that's where you can give. And but remember, God will give it back to you. He keeps telling me that. I hear it again. Tell him, tell him. He will give it back to you better than you can ever imagine. And I'm encouraging you guys to do that. Um, God wants me to keep doing that, so I'm doing that. And um, remember, you're you're hearing you're hearing the word from God through whatever channel and message it's coming to you. So when you hear it and it benefits you and gives you something in your life and, and feeds into your life, and you start eating it and you start receiving the words from what God is telling you and you you start using it in your life well that means that you're learning something from that channel or that person that you're listening to and that's where you want to give because that's how god blesses you and he wants to bless you back from it and that's how he works in his word look that up in his word and um and he will give it back to you more than you can ever imagine in any ways and all ways you can imagine and i tell you what it's totally worth it, and it works in my life. I know it'll work in yours. Keep going after the prize. Because Christ has won this whole thing, 
and we are ready to take on the new kingdom. So hold on, don't give up, keep pressing forward, and just keep winning as many over for Christ as you can. Amen. So until next time, I love you guys so much, and have a wonderful, wonderful day. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.